Here we are in British Grove Studios in London, in Chiswick, and uh, they built this place far too late in life. So I wish I'd done it a long time before. Regrets, I've had a few. <laughs> and this, that would be one of them. It's great having your own place. It's quite tricky to get in now, you know, to, 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 to book time, because, you know, a lot of people like to use the place. It seems to have grown, and I, I think it's because it's so flexible. You can use the place for high-tech things like movies and surround and, and all of that. So it's great for that brigade. I think we've done the last three Warner Brothers musicals here. And it's great for rock and roll recording, uh, on, you know, on the other. So you, you can use tons and tons of vintage recording gear and everything and you can all the band can all play together and you can do lots of different setups so it has that flexibility it was just, so it has <clears throat> you know the latest digital recording gear but it also has analog recording gear from 1954 onwards and in fact the microphones go back even further they go back into the 30s even mm -hmm. and as far as your uh, new record is concerned it's uh, we are three three years older and none the wiser. Um, it's a quite a long gap actually for you, isn't it, in terms of uh, album release? I suppose it has been a bit of a gap, it's, but the reason um, for that is um, that I had a lot of stuff to record. I was touring and writing this stuff and uh, being able to write on the road's a bit of an advantage. Uh, you just keep looking at the songs and I think I've, I've said to you before that having a laptop certainly has improved that. And um, I'm not just tearing up bits of paper and throwing them in a bin anymore. So ecologically speaking, I'm leaving a smaller footprint writing songs. And um, uh, But it means that there's more stuff, you, uh, more stuff to throw away as well, of course. But... Um, so I, we were, I think we we're quite a long time just, just putting recording sessions together. And um, possibly the, the fact that there's nobody to throw you out of the studio, which I got quite used to using other studios. You can maybe just get a chance to get in and get a bit more t studio time. But so here and there, that, that is dead useful. The first album, I think, was recorded in about 10 days or 11 days or something and mixed in, you know, cup two or three or whatever it was, you know. Um, and that well, was Muff Winwood and, um, and they, you know, they, they, they knew how to turf them out. But it, it, there's a lot to be said for that kind of recording as well. So uh, you know, some things you can put down really fast and I've got the kind of band that can record like that and they can all play uh, superbly so uh, it's you know it's all I can do to keep up with a, a group like that so uh, it, it's a lot of fun uh, to 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 work quickly as well as it is to sometimes take a step back and have a little think and decide that you know that you are probably approaching it in the wrong way because some songs you write they're keeping something from you you're just trying to unlock them and that can take a little bit longer, as any songwriter knows. And they can be so deceptive too, you know. That it could be that a song that is, you think is going to be straightforward doesn't work out like that. Down the Road Wherever is just a line from one of the songs. Um, and uh, that song is called One Song at a Time. I think I one song at a time. I think I maybe I remember um, my pal Chad Atkins saying that he picked his way out of poverty one song at a time, or something like that. I think it was like that, and it just stuck in my mind. You know, with with somebody like Chester, you get to an age where it is it is a few songs, and so I suppose that's just one of those things that stays in in your mind, even though the, the song itself goes everywhere. I'm not sure what that is. It was just one of those songs that was feeling its way, I suppose. 
in, into being. Down the road wherever seems to be appropriate for me uh, just because it's what I've always done, you know. I've always tried to make a record and it also to keep my own geography happening in the songs. It, it That applies there as well. So a lot of songs will refer to um, to my past and the childhood and everything, but that song actually I think refers to Deptford and, uh, you know, the, the beginning of the Dire Straits time. Uh, if you like, it, what, what it was like to be in Deptford and to feel the history of the place, which I always tend to do if I'm somewhere, as I'm sure you know, if I'm in Edinburgh, I'm feeling the history of the place, if I'm, or generally anyway, or, or something like that. So, uh, so I think One Song at a Time has echoes of De Deptford in it. It echoes, it kind of echoes the way the way it does now. Now that that little flat, John and, and David's little flat that, that that I started staying at when we were putting the little group together, it's got a plaque on the door. Oh yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> uh, and you know, I thought that they would have pulled that place down a long time ago because when we were living in it, it was condemned, and the whole all of that housing estate, all of that estate, and they were. They weren't allowing proper families to live there. They were only allowed students and social workers, I think, to live there. You know, sort of lesser mortals. But those 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 buildings are so strong, and they must have just decided, well, they're still standing, so yeah. we'll keep them. We'll keep them. Yeah, and you talked before about the less than salubrious conditions you you lived in in those early days. Yeah. That, that's right, um, but as part and part and parcel of, of what it all is, it's always a reminder to me. I was talking to one of my sons the other day, and I said, "What are you doing?" And he said, "I'm loading the van. I'm just, I'm loading the van." It's so familiar to me that, and I said, "Well, you know, that's exactly what it's about. If you have never loaded a van, you know, you don't really know what life's about." It's it's all it's all. I think all the experience for a songwriter anyway. I think all the life experiences are relevant. It's good to have those work experiences as a child, you know, as a teenager, as well, as well as I mean, Joe's nearly thirty now, and his brother. I mean, those boys are thirty now. It's unbelievable, but time's been flying by while I've been having fun. Actually, one song at a time is one of several, as you as you mentioned, with you know autobiographical. Uh, details in in it and that particular one I mean, it's about it's sort of it says something about your the determination that you had in those early days doesn't it to to use your craft to get somewhere yes and i i i, I, yeah, I was definitely determined and and uh, also i wanted to put my geography into the songs of the first album there would be Southbound again, or there would be Down to the Waterliner, bits of Newcastle, and even then a bit later on there would be In Tunnel of Love, there would be the Spanish City and, you know, and all of that. And so instead of, instead of it all being, oh, well, Route 66 and the American um, geography that, that was, is sewn into all of that music, um, you know, that, that, that you have to know. I mean, you kind of, that's part of it. Um, but uh, I wanted to put myself into my own world and put that in and see if I could, if, I, if that could, could be part of the expression. And so I started that really early on and I've never stopped doing it. Somewhere where the delta meets the tine, yeah, there's still that element of that in there because being exposed to um, all the music, the folk music of Tyneside when I was a kid and even actually Moving to Tyneside from Scotland when I was about seven, I think that there would be an element of the uh, fusion going on there as well. That there's a lot of things about Scotland and uh, Geordie Land that are very, very similar. A lot of the people are moved d down there to work anyway in the shipyards and so on and so forth. So there's uh, a lot of connections there, a lot of fellow feeling as well, I think. and. Um, uh, so yeah, so that's part of it. I guess that <clears throat> you know that, that that is part of of 
of the geography. And I, but I don't think that that ever leaves because I had a love affair with London since I was 14 or something, or 15, I think, was the first time that I visited. And, and, and so that's never gone away either, that romance that I have with, with, with that. Um, and I romance also well with the beauty of the, Brit uh, the English countryside, you know, the, and, and Scotland as well, the coast and Geordie land. Northumberland, all of that's very dear to me. The first time I put the record on, I immediately thought, this really does have quite a different feel from Tracker. you sense that? Whether you want to or not, you develop, and that's just what happens. And uh, sometimes uh, the songs will tell you after they're done what it is that you've been doing wrong, <laughs> uh, you know, where you've been going. And uh, so... Uh, that's a never-ending source of amusement is, you know, you can even find out with not really knowing what things are about, you can find out from doing them what they're about, what you've been thinking about, perhaps. Some songs are much easier to, to trace to, you know, and, 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 and I will tell you if that's, if it's easy, it's easy, but sometimes it's much more complex and and you don't really know what the thing is about or it's just about trying to feel something. Um, so it is an odd business trying to, trying to and as soon as you start trying to unpick something like that, it loses something too because I want the songs to be able to work for you and, and I don't want that to spoil that by saying, no, it's not about that, it's about this. Okay? It can, it's great if you can <clears throat> find something of yourself in there to, to, to inhabit. 